Well, hello everyone. I just wanted to get this video taken care of of today. Um, yesterday, I did a memorial video, which I automatically had to take down today due to special uh, things. But I'm just going to get down to it. Okay, for the results of yesterday on Outlaw's Nightmare episode, I think it was 19... I'll have to go back and check exactly. But uh, Lewis Carter Borowski came out to the ring with a new look in general. And he wore his business suit since his dad is in a coma in the hospital. Uh, basically talking about he's overheard his mother, Wolfina, uh, talking about overhearing about Chris Clark with the racial slurs and stuff that it needed to stop and it's not happening in ONW. There was also a promo about Feck wanting another shot at Daniel Dino for the international championship. Joker Nixon Wolf also did a promo saying that he's inserting himself into this uh, match when he was actually uh, supposed to be on pro. And you know what Broskis do best, they intervene matches. Or intervene shows in general. So, uh, the battle of the three in a Joker's pit match. Daniel Dino lost that title and the stipulation was is if he lost that title he would be fired and if joker won the match joker the jobber will be no more it would be known he will be known as joker brawski and that he did he joker had officially won the international championship on Outlaw's Nightmare. Okay, next we had uh, Danielle and Samantha, which is now known as the Bad Girls, faced up against Crystal and uh, Devin Knight and... The bad girls ended up winning that match. We also had a gangster's ball match at the beginning of the show. Of uh, Bell Watson. Going up against Melissa Thorner. And Bell had defeated Melissa Thorner and di during towards the close of the end of the show we had a eight women knockout elimination match which Nikita was in that match trying to uh, prevent Whoever will be, would be number one contender for her title. And Death Rose became number one contender for the Women's World Grand Prix Championship. So that will happen either next week or at this coming pay-per-view. We do not know. Management needs to get back with me about that. Um, also, Nick Mysterio, the leader of the cartel, had, did a promo stating that the cartel is officially there with ten members and they want all the gold here in ONW. And for the foremost, we also did have a promo of Brendan Quavos calling 
out gangster about wanting a shot at his World Grand Prix Championship. And the promo ended up so heated that Gangster came unglued and took things to another level. And we had a brawl right there in the middle of the ring between these two. We will definitely see that happen at the pay-per-view. Um, we also, for the main event, we had the Wolfpack dominating uh, J. Max in a three-on-three -three tag team normal match. We had J. Max's tag team partners, Cole Quinn and the mountain man himself, Bones Brawski, Devin Brawski's father. Y'all should have uh, watched the show yesterday, even though I had to take it down. I will get back with y'all, and I will definitely, uh, hopefully, get through this, and we'll catch y'all on Friday. Deuces.